for the Hunter Report. And today we're going to be looking at the topic of Bluetooth lavalier microphones. I have the Instamic right here. I have the Sennheiser memory mic right here. And this is a control, which is the Tascam DR10 lavalier system. So first, let me start off by saying I'm not happy with any of these products. But some of them fill certain niches that others don't, which may make it worth keeping. And it's the reason that I'm keeping some of them. So before anything, let's just listen to the audio for each of them. Here's how the Instamic sounds. Here's how the Sennheiser memory mic sounds. And here's how the Tascam sounds. So for the remainder of this review, we're mainly comparing the two Bluetooth microphones. So first off, do you need an app to control and use these? Well, sort of. And there's a lot of different ways to approach that question. But the most basic one, recording audio. You don't need an app to record with the Instamic. You do need an app to record with the Sennheiser. So for the Instamic right here, you could just press a button. Press the one button right there, which is the O, and you get recording levels. And you also have the option to turn off those levels so that it's not lighting up your shot. Whereas with the Sennheiser right here, you have to use the app in order to start and stop recording. So now I'm inside the memory mic app by Sennheiser, and you can clearly see there's literally just a stop button there. I can't touch anything. I'm overexposed. I mean, this is not the kind of control that you want. And I haven't found any apps that actually work with the Sennheiser memory mic. So big thumbs down, really half-bake idea, half-bake execution. So here we are synchronizing the audio for the Sennheiser microphone. You have to join its LAN. And now you're downloading and synchronizing the audio. I was recording in audio only mode here. And then sometimes things get stuck. Now, I don't know if it's a half, this is really how half baked the product is. I don't know what it's choking on. The fact that it has both audio and video in the same recording, I'm not really sure. So I see my microphone here. I see I have three hours and 50 minutes left, 96% battery. And I can tune the sensitivity, and I get my levels right there. I can disconnect it. And what kind of settings do we have? Well, I do have to say it has a firmware update, which did work over the app. And the Instamic does not provide that feature. The Instamic, you have to plug it into update firmware. You can choose video quality. And that's literally it. You can choose between video, which is you know overexposed, or audio. So let's go ahead start the audio, and even if the Sennheiser here gets disconnected, it does not require the app. And the same thing with the Instamic. They can be disconnected, stop recording, and then sync things up. Although the Sennheiser, I find, has choked and, and did not give me confidence because of that bad experience. So now let me show you how the Instamic app works. So we see my mic here. We can see that it's set in dual mono. So it records one at 48 kilohertz and records a second one nine decibels lower. But let me show you all the s options that you get. You can do an auto gain mode. You can do a rec mode, which is, is really cool. So mono, which saves on battery life, and then dual mono, you have three options. So you record two files, one of them being many decibels lower than the other. And the idea is one of those two files will work for you. So that's a really super useful feature and then my Tascam also has. The Sennheiser does not have that feature. We're going to get to hands-free profile in a second. Here's the option to turn on and off the LEDs. You can change the name of the mic itself. You can change the name of the takes, your battery, and you can actually shut down the mic, which I'm not going to do. So let's go into the mic and let's start recording. Here we are. We are recording and we can tune our decibels lower, we can tune them higher, and let's just set them back to 10. So the Instamic definitely provides more flexibility with being able to turn the mic on and off without needing the app, and also giving you that dual mono recording option. There's a pro version that offers stereo. There's actually two pro versions. It's really cool, whereas the Sennheiser here simply comes in one model in white, and the Instamic also comes in a lot of colors. So let's just talk mounting options really quickly. So the Instamic right here, as you see, it's in the middle of my shirt, and that's because it has a magnet. 
So that magnet goes just like that. And there's nothing stopping you from using an even smaller magnet. And you can do it on the, the opposite end of your shirt too. So you can have the magnet out here and the mic on the inside. And you can paint the magnet whatever color you want. That's what I do. But then the Sennheiser right here is also magnet, but this clip is fixed. So you're basically limited to collars or pinching your clothing. So definitely the Instamic wins a removable mounting bracket and it comes in Velcro and also sticky tape. So how do you actually get the files off of these devices? Well, the Sennheiser right here actually is superior than the Instamic. Let me show you. Stop this recording in the Sennheiser app and then end the session. And you have to synchronize audio. So then all you do is you take your video file and you hit the share button right here. You see, I can airdrop it right here to my MacBook or I can save it to Dropbox. Whereas in the Instamic right here, there's no option to save audio and you have to plug it in. That said, <laughs> even though you can't, even though you have to plug in the Instamic to get files off of it, you can't plug in the Sennheiser. You have to do wireless file transfer. So <laughs> the amount of features that, that these two have or one has and the other has, it just shows how, how new the space is. Um, but it also shows some of the really basic use cases haven't really been thought out between both of these companies. Now, Sennheiser is a much bigger company. And if they wanted to, they could either acquire or crush the Instamic pretty much out of business. But I, I, I'm going to keep on coming back to this. This Sennheiser product is, is really half-baked because of those issues that I had saving some recordings. It seems like you have one or two shots to save it. And then if the saving fails on the phone, it seems to be gone forever. And there's no way to recover it. That's just like, that makes this a toy and not a tool. Let's get to the topic of can you use these mics with other video apps on the phone. With the Sennheiser, I haven't found a video app that it works with. It's not a Bluetooth microphone. It seems to be at the moment strictly locked into the Sennheiser app. Again, it wouldn't be that difficult for Sennheiser to unlock that, but I don't know why they're sleeping on it. Whereas the Instamic right here is a Bluetooth microphone and it can be paired with other apps so I can get decent exposure as opposed to that terrible exposure because I'm limited to the absolutely terrible Sennheiser app. So let me show you how that works. It's called hands-free profile mode. So I'm gonna stop my recording right here. I'm gonna go here, boom. And then you turn on hands-free profile. You have to forget the Instamic. You're gonna go here, forget the device, forget it. And Instamic BLE stands for Instamic Bluetooth Low Energy. So that saves it from sucking a lot of juice. All right, so we're gonna reconnect to our H mic. And now we can see we're in hands-free profile mode. So I just go in there. I do enable streaming. We are now streaming, I'm getting levels, like Movie Pro. All right, so I've just opened up Movie Pro. And first of all, you can see I'm really overexposed, the same problem we had in the Sennheiser. So I'm just gonna bring my ISO down to a reasonable level and boom, that's the kind of control that you need. Um, so you see that blue microphone right there? That means we're talking on the Instamic. So let's go ahead right now and just see if the audio quality is the same between the Instamic right here and our control mic right here in the task cam. Go back once more and go back once more. Now my conclusion is as follows. So the audio on the Instamic in hands-free mode is definitely lower quality. Now, in a pinch, I would use it, right? Because it saves me post-production time or it saves me setup time, and it is the ultimate holy grail of mobile recording. That said, if I have the time, I would either do a complicated setup to get a wireless lav hooked up into my iPhone, which I did four years ago, or I would simply record and then sync up the audio in post-production. 
So we're not quite at the holy grail yet, and I don't know if it's a limitation of Apple, if Apple actually does not allow Bluetooth recording to be full quality, or if it's a limitation of Instamic and or Sennheiser, the device manufacturers. So this is sort of frustrating, and um, that is what it is. That's the state of the art right now. Oh yeah, battery life. The battery life right here on the Sennheiser is four hours. The battery life right here on the Instamic is three hours, although it's, although it's even less if you're recording in dual mode. So let's talk about niches. Again, these are Bluetooth microphones. As I'm using it right now inside of the Movie Pro app is the ultimate use case because I can get my audio synced up right to the video in real time, which is the holy grail. I've been making so many videos about that topic for like four years now. Now you can sync it up in real time, but it requires lots of cables and lots of extra mounts. So that's just a huge pain. Whereas the Instamic right here, literally plop it on, it's super simple and definitely my go-to, which is why I'm keeping this one and not keeping this one. But on the topic of niches, there's another niche that these kind of microphones provide, which is being able to monitor your audio remotely. It gives you two capabilities. One, you can adjust your levels being at a distance from your subject. If you're in a live event or somewhere where you cannot interrupt the person wearing the microphone, that's a super useful thing. And the other thing is that it literally lets you know if your battery is dead. Whereas this product right here, and I've done an actual video on this whole topic, you can check that out right here. Here, you have no way of knowing if your audio is dead or not. It, this thing doesn't vibrate, it beeps, but you need to have the headphones in for the beep. So again, another really poorly thought out product. And, and I cover all that in this video. And finally, the thing that none of these three products do, one, two, three, all of them have exposed power buttons. And yes, this one requires a long switch, and this one's power button is exposed, and this one's power button is exposed. So it's pretty Murphy's Law, what can go wrong will go wrong. It's pretty conceivable that it's in your pocket and the button gets hit and all of a sudden it stops recording. There's no lock feature here, whereas the Sennheiser right here, the product I haven't shown you, has an on and off button inside the microphone. So you do that, you close the beautiful strong metal door, and you're really confident that this baby is not going off. So wouldn't it be great if I actually had the resources to go ahead and uh, do these mics right? Sure. I hope one of these companies or another company comes out with a product in metal, just like this, that addresses all of these problems right here. It's not that difficult. I'm literally telling you what you should do, and I'm pretty sure that a lot of people are going to be very grateful that these microphone companies address these issues. It's going to be really interesting to see how these companies develop their microphones and maybe one day the perfect lavalier microphone will exist. Until then, thank you so much for tuning in. I really appreciate that you did. If you could give me a thumbs up and maybe subscribe, I would appreciate that a lot too. And you can also go ahead and check the description below for where you can find links to get any of these products. And speaking of ordering, you can order the Instamic on Amazon, you can order this on Amazon, and since it's so terrible, they will give you a $20 discount on it. I checked. So thank you so much, and just to stress-free recording. See you soon.